This week's Take It, Make It Craft is based on the book, The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. If you are not familiar with this book, it is a story about a young fish who has beautiful shiny scales. And he learns that the best way to be happy is to share those shiny scales with all of his friends. And that's what he does in the story. There are all sorts of stories about the rainbow fish and we have a lot of them. So feel free to come on in and check them out. So this is our story. And this is our craft. We are gonna make a little rainbow fish. The supplies that you got in your craft include the instructions, a paper plate, a bunch of colored circles, a little piece of aluminum foil, and a one wiggly eye. There's only supposed to be one in there. The items that are not included in your kit that you'll need to have from home are glue, scissors, and either a crayon, a marker, or paint, however you wanna put the glue on your plate. Today, I'm gonna to use a paint stick for mine. Okay, you could also have, if you have any glitters or sequins at home, you can use those to decorate your fish as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna color our paper plate. It's important to make sure that you do it on the bottom of it so the rounded edges are pointing down. Fill up the whole thing with your color. Okay, my fish is all colored. The next step is to cut out a triangle out of the side, which is then gonna be moved to make the tail. You can make it as, as big as you like. There's no magic way to do it. So now I have it cut out and I'm gonna tape it to the back of the plate, just like this. If you don't have tape and you just wanna use glue, that's fine too. That will work. All right, so now we have our fish ready to give him some eyes and the scales. I'm gonna go ahead and glue on the wiggly eye. I'm gonna put the eye on just like that. Now for the scales, you have a big assortment of colors for them. So you're gonna take each one and fold it in half and then glue half of it onto your fish. Now, if you remember, the fish in Rainbow Fish has some sparkly, shiny, shimmery scales. So I gave you some aluminum foil. You can make your own little shiny scale if you would like. So you just cut a circle out of that. And then you can glue that anywhere with your scales that you'd like. If you wanna use as many as you can cut out of there, that's fine. So let's go ahead and get started. There's no specific order that you need to follow as you're doing this. I like it when the colors are all mixed up in there. I think it adds a nice variety. So you can see, I was able to fit about five of the circles in a row at, down the middle of the plate. So now I'm gonna switch to the next row. What? Don't forget that shiny scale too, if you'd like to include that in there. Okay, so here is the finished rainbow fish. And you can see he's got one shiny shimmery scale in there. If you don't use all of the scales, that's okay. 
Just use however many you have room for. Now that you made your fish, come on in, check out the books, and you can retell the story to the people in your house using your own rainbow fish.